Brazen Women of the Progressive Era The Progressive Era was a period in American history that took place from about 1880 to 1920. It was a time of social activism and political reform. The daily life of an American woman mainly consisted of taking care of her husband, children, and household duties. She was not allowed to vote because she was already represented by her husband and it was thought that women were not interested in politics. Outside of the home, she was involved in church activities, but that was about it. Most women were absent from politics and higher education. So, to fully understand how exceptional these brazen women are is to understand the traditional role of women during this period. The women here had to work harder, run faster, and be better than men to accomplish their dreams. Women today can draw inspiration from these brave women who cleared a path for their voices to be heard. Here before you are the brazen women of the progressive era. First up is Jane Addams. Addams was the most notable figure during the, during the progressive era. She was a social worker. She worked in the women's suffrage movement and was an advocate for world peace. Adams had a dream to have a house for young women in the slums of Chicago where they could live, get an education, and put their social principles into action. It took her 25 years, but she accomplished her dream with the establishment of Hull House in 1889. Hull House became a major center for the community in Chicago for mostly immigrants, women, and children. Grace Abbott. Grace Abbott was a social worker who specifically worked in improving the rights of immigrants and child welfare, especially the regulation of child labor legislation. She brought to light the exploitation of immigrants in a weekly comment column in the Chicago Evening Post entitled, Within the City Gates. Abbott was outspoken and honest. She was not afraid to admit how she felt, even if it wasn't well accepted by the public. No one did more to stop exploitation of newly arrived immigrants than Abbott did. Harriet Tubman. Tubman led more than 300 fellow sl slaves to freedom into the Northern US and Canada during slavery. However, she didn't stop her crusade here. Even though she suffered health problems and a brain injury, she never quit working for the causes that she believed in and continued her advocacy for civil rights and women's suffrage into the progressive era. She maintained an unblemished record of diligence, creating a legacy of sacrifice and struggle that carried into the 20th century. Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony played a major role in the women's suffrage movement. Her work became fully satisfied with the right of women to be able to vote in elections. This was a major accomplishment for Anthony because up until this point in American history, women had no voice. Most were uneducated. The very being or existence of a woman was suspended during marriage. Anthony understood that these conditions could improve if women were allowed to vote against laws that suppressed them. Margaret Sanger, Mar um, Anna Howard Shaw, excuse me, Anna Howard Shaw is next. She was a leader in the women's suffrage movement. She was also a physician and one of the first ordained female Methodist ministers in the United States. She was also a public speaker for the women's suffrage movement and held the position of vice president and eventually president of Susan B. Anthony's National Women's Suffrage Association. Now we are to Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger founded the birth control movement and became an outspoken and lifelong advocate for women's reproductive rights. She launched the Birth Control Review in 1917 and founded the American Birth Control League in 1921. 
Sanger recruited researcher Gregory Pincus to develop an oral contraceptive, the pill. It was approved by the FDA in 1960. And last, but certainly not least, Ida B. Wells. Wells was simply a renegade in the progressive era. There are not many well-known African-American women in history. Wells is an exception. She was improbable because even though many African-American women shared Wells' rage against society, none of them spoke up as bravely as she did. She achieved international renown as an anti-lynching crusader in the 1890s. Wells was once deemed dangerous by military intelligence. Obviously, she was given this title because society in the progressive era still firmly believed in the color line, which she boldly stepped over. In 1908, after brutal attacks on African Americans in Springfield, Illinois, Wells acted and helped organize the NAACP. Although she had overcome a challenging early life, she had an extraordinary achievements, including a remarkable, remarkable career as a writer, speaker, and political activist. During this time, women achieved many things, the right to vote, the end of child labor, birth control, 